past. Right after graduating from the Southside High School, many in their class served in World War II. For those remaining of the class of 42, today was their final time to gather together, share their stories, and remember times gone by. The men of Tilden Technical High School, class of 1942, formed quite a bond. We grew up in the Depression and didn't even know we were underprivileged, you know, but we enjoyed one another's company. They've held 25, 50, 60, and 65-year reunions. At the 25th anniversary, we had something like 250 people that came to our anniversary. And even then, we had so much fun, we said, hey, let's do this again. But this, their 70th year reunion, will be their last. For a class where everyone is in their late 80s, reality sets in each time they get together and the group is a little smaller. Reunion organizers estimate that there are 62 members remaining out of a graduating class of 667. And out of those still living, only half are well enough to attend. When you live to this age and you're so thankful that you've reached this age, what more can you ask for? You know, really, it's, it's wonderful. I just can't see these guys like me. It makes you want to cry sometimes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there have been a lot of changes to their alma mater over the years. Tilden, on the southwest side, used to be an all-boys school back in their day. They were seniors when Pearl Harbor was attacked, and many were drafted into the military upon graduation, like Frank Barbaric, who was stationed in Italy during World War II. He was injured by shrapnel while seeking shelter from bombs dropped by the Germans. One of the shells landed very close to me and uh, tried to get into the command post and they said there wasn't any room for us. Barbaric says that post took a direct hit and everyone inside was killed. Other classmates who died in the war were remembered at the reunion. Ralph Bindle, U.S. Army, February 1945, Luxembourg. Classmates who will always have a special place in each other's lives. Some alumni who still live in the Chicago area plan to hold unofficial reunions every year. Good for them. A group of workers from the